Hello, this is Dr. Antif and welcome to a new tutorial in our photography tutorials. In this series, we are going to learn what is a studio and what are the equipment needed to establish a photography studio. We are going to see these devices and we are going to learn how each one is used. In the series that will follow this series, we are going to do real photography where models will be in our studio and we will use all the equipment that we will see in this series to do very nice setups and very beautiful shots. So, what is a studio? A studio is a room that you can use it for your photography. Personally, I believe the smallest size that is suitable for being a studio is 4 by 6 meters. Less than that, it will be difficult for you to put your lighting equipment and the models to enter and so on. So I believe less than 4 by 6, it will be really small. 4 by 6 is not big, but it, it's, it will be suitable to start with. And for sure, the bigger, the better. After finding the suitable room for your studio, we need to install the backdrop. Backdrops are of two types, normal backdrops and portable backdrops. A normal backdrop is the one that can reach the ceiling of the room and it is very wide where it can hide all the area behind the model, which is very suitable for all kinds of photography. While a portable backdrop is much smaller, usually it is 2 meters by 1.5 meters only and it has a special tripod that can hold this backdrop. The normal backdrop, when we install it, it will be very difficult for us to move it or to change its position because it's really very big. While the portable one, it is very handy and we can very easily move it even after we install it. I can move it with only one hand. In a moment, we are going to install the two backdrops and you are going to see the differences in size and portability between the normal backdrop and the portable backdrop. The portable backdrop can be set in landscape mode or portrait mode based on your needs. Moreover, you can see that the portable backdrop has two colors, the black color and the white color, and you can use the color that you need depending on the setup that you are doing. So as you can see, it's very easy to install the portable backdrop even one person can do it without the help of anyone and also you, you see it's really suitable and nice uh, remember that many times your model will be seated so for example if I'm seated the height will be enough in all cases you can change the height of the backdrop you can easily raise it or lower it down and remember you can put it in portrait mode so it's really very handy and very easy to install one more note when you are installing such a backdrop with a tripod Make sure that that one leg of the tripod is going forward and this will uh, minimize the probability of the backdrop to fall down because as you know the center of gravity might change so by doing this you are minimizing this danger. So it's very easy, very handy and very portable. I can even move it myself with only one hand and I will do that in front of you right now. So I'm carrying it and I can move it wherever I like. Now I will set up the normal backdrop. We will start by the frame in the bag that will carry the backdrop. The backdrop could be any piece of cloth and in any color. Usually we use most of the time black or white, but you can use any color. It could be colorful, it could be multiple colors with drawing, anything that you like. Now I will use the black color. Before I proceed, we need to mention an important note, as usual for the center of gravity and to prevent anything from falling down. The leg of, of each tripod should be 
under this arm because all the weight will be on this arm the the backdrop by itself the piece of cloth will be falling from here so this leg should be pointing this way and the other leg should also be pointing this way under this rod now we reach the last stage in setting up the backdrop we are going to put the black backdrop and as you probably noticed it's really more difficult to set up the normal backdrop unlike the portable one which was very fast and very easy and I finished it myself really very fast but this is taking a lot of time and calibration so now we are going to put the black backdrop on, on the rod over there and we need two clamps to clamp it to prevent it from falling down when we raise the backdrop upwards Before I proceed, I'd like to tell you what we did behind the camera. We noticed that the backdrop was a little bit smaller than the rod that will hold the backdrop. So we removed only one part of it. You saw it earlier it was four parts, so we made it three parts. And I got two more clamps to clamp the backdrop from the outside of the tripod here to prevent the backdrop from collapsing to each other. So this is our normal backdrop and as you saw it was more difficult to set it up. In fact you need two people to do it and someone was helping me, I cheated from behind the camera to finish it fast. So it's really very nice, it's high, it's big, it's reaching the ceiling of the room and later on we are going to do some shootings and you are going to see how the backdrop will fill in the picture very nicely. So that's it for part one. Now we are going to continue and we are going to see the equipment needed inside a studio.